collagen consumers stay connected to the skin because obviously we have collagen in the skin but how about the bones so we really wanted to address this topic and say collagen is also a very com uh, important component about 20 percent of the uh, of the bone mass is, is collagen actually really giving the structure to the bone and that that's where we really find it important to educate about the benefits of bioactive collagen peptides for the bone let me make a maybe simple example for that um, when you build a bridge over a river and you just use the concrete to build this bridge this will collapse over time so basically it's not stable enough and the steel structure in the bridge has a very similar role as the collagen in our bones so basically it's stabilizing the bone from inside it's it's providing the uh, binding sites for the calcium phosphate so it's, it's a very important structure giving the flexibility and stability to the bone a triple helix structure has the strength more uh, higher than steel so it's a really really important component we now wanted to see if we can stimulate the cells and there we are looking especially at the anabolic effects we wanted to see if we can stimulate the osteoblasts um, to increase the synthesis of new collagen and also other components of the bone to make the bone more stable, to increase the density over time. And now let me directly show what we have done in the first step. So one of the first steps is always to prove that the collagen peptides in an intact form get into the body and um, reach the target organ, which is the bone. So basically we've proven that by using markers. Uh, one of these markers was the hydroxyproline. It's an amino acid which can only be found in collagen. So this is a very good marker for us. We've seen that it's uh, showing up in the bloodstream. Um, it's passing the mucosa, the intestinal wall, going into the blood. It's distributed in the body. And then we see using a 14C label that the collagen peptides as an active uh, component reaches the target organ, the bone. And there we see then a stimulation. We have conducted a human clinical study uh, looking at 180 women over a period of one year, measuring the bone mineral density using a DEXA scan, um, looking at the T-score values and, and the changes in that. And uh, what we see there was quite impressive. So we saw an increase by like 5 to 6% compared to the placebo control group. Uh, an increase in bone mineral density and this was really over this period of one year quite impressive to see and I think it's a very good combination. The dosage for 40 bone that we recommend also based on the clinical studies, the human clinical studies that we've conducted is 5 grams per day so that's uh, the dosage. It's of course a little bit limiting in terms of uh, what you, what kind of formats you can use so certainly not a, not a, not a pill, not a capsule but you can go into a sachet format, in a powder format, you can uh, do liquids, vials. So there are different formats available you can use. And we have now combined it in this uh, Bone Health Triangle Forte as a sachet format and in a stick. What makes us different from all the medications that are available in the market, like bisphosphonates, for example, certain hormone treatments which are given when you have an osteoporosis. And uh, what we see here is really an anabolic effect by stimulating the cells, by stimulating the osteoblasts to increase their activity. Osteoporosis, we call it a, a silent disease, so it's something which you only recognize at an, a very late stage. Um, so the progression of osteoporosis is not in, so there's no pain in, uh, that you have as a, in, as a patient, so you don't feel it at an early stage. And that's why you really need a kind of guidance, you need a kind of recommendation, and you, you need to involve the medical community to make this a successful story. That's why we really see uh, an approach via the medical community, a recommendation of the product, because it's just so specific. And as you said, it's a five gram dosage. So it's, it's probably a little bit more expensive when it goes to the customer, to the consumer, than uh, a vitamin combination. So that's why we really see it in the, in the higher end, but also in a market where you have recommendation for the products. Julita, improving quality of life.